three federal agencies, the Forest Service, BLM, and the National Park Service, have teamed up to collect data for the Western Hummingbird Project. Every other week, starting at dawn, hummingbirds are lured by feeders and trapped in unfolding nets. They are bagged briefly to be identified for their species and if they've had a previous band on their legs or tarsus. We're just right now trying to figure out whether it's a male or a female juvenile. It's really hard to tell the difference. So you have to look at a few things. A small metal band is squeezed onto the hummer's leg. So other hummingbird monitoring network stations from Canada to Mexico can follow the hummingbird's migration patterns and ranges. Should have some rust on it though, huh? Maybe it is a black chin. The most common hummingbirds in the Escalante, Utah area are the rufous, black chinned, and the broadtail hummingbirds. The wings and tail are measured. The metal band is rechecked to be sure it fits properly on the hummer's leg. The hummingbirds are wrapped up and are weighed. All this data will eventually be collected at the National Banding Lab. A quick drink of hummingbird nectar and the birds are on their merry way. bird doesn't want to leave. Oh, he'll be back. He's already returned. <laughs>